you know, we, we're living in a moment where, unfortunately, it's urgent that we're telling this story. It is reassuring and been comforting, not just to me, but to other members of the community here on campus that the University Theatre has decided to take on this project this year. It is a musical that uh, really gets at these sort of deep, challenging questions of identity and uh, politics and anti-Semitism, but it does so in a way that doesn't take away from the part where you can sing and dance and enjoy it. I think our students are gravitating to many of the themes in Cabaret in the 30s before the rise of Nazism. Berlin was an epicenter for people who identified across the gender spectrum, across the sexuality spectrum. It was a, a welcoming place. There's a lot that resonates for our students in particular about that moment, to imagine that it was once possible to have an accepting environment that then turned dark. Cabaret doesn't so much depict the evils of the Holocaust as it depicts our inability to imagine them. And, and in this moment where we are again kind of asking ourselves, can it happen here? Uh, it becomes really important. It's iconic and has this Tony Award winning glorious music and characters that you want to spend time with tricks us and lulls us and compels us to forget our troubles. How do we revisit this story without imitating? It's about getting to delve into some of the dances that were celebrated. The history and the cultural context of the Harlem Renaissance is really interesting to me, and being able to share that information with our students is just really glorious. My grandparents lived in Germany in 1930. They were fortunate enough to get out. So when I think about Herr Schultz, and the strong implication of the play that Herr Schultz does not get out. Uh, that's very intense for me. The Anti-Defamation League started tracking hate against Jewish people over the last 40 years, and we're at the apex of that rise. So unfortunately, uh, this is a story right now that needs to be told. And I just hope that people walk away from this reminded that not just in theater, we're world making all the time. And what kind of world do we want to live in?